A small body of water in Holton is making global headlines. Scientists believe that Crawford Lake may be the location that best keeps track of people's impact on the earth. And as Laverne McGee tells us, Crawford Lake may be the best place on the planet to track that timeline. It only takes about 15 minutes to walk around Crawford Lake, but it's more than 24 meters deep. The mud on the bottom of it has scientists excited. It contains layers of changes to the environment, such as soot and pollution. The bottom of this lake even has particles from fossil fuels and coal that settle there after being blown in the wind from the steel mills of Hamilton. Brianna Bartley of Halton Conservation has helped preserve this lake since 1997. You can see things like uh, fly ash from industry that happened in, in Hamilton Harbor. And then you can see when policy um, helped to reduce the amount of ash that was coming out of those smokestacks. The entire world has been searched by scientists, and tiny Crawford Lake, located in Milton, has been determined as the best place on Earth to provide historical evidence of changes to the planet. Researchers looked at 11 other sites and deemed Crawford Lake has the most persuasive geological markers. CHCH was there last year when researchers were extracting samples from the frozen lake. Geologists who study the earth and how it was formed are trying to define a new geological time period that indicates exactly when humans started having a dominant influence on climate and the environment. We're suggesting that a new interval of geologic time called the Anthropocene began in 1950. The chemistry of Lake Crawford is among the rarest in the world. The top and bottom layers never mix, and the bottom layer contains oxygen. The layers of mud can be counted back about a thousand years. Researchers can put them under a microscope and they can figure out all kinds of things about history. You know, what kinds of plants grew here, what kind of chemicals were in the air, that kind of thing, how much, how hot it was, um, whether, you know, relative to other years, um, by looking at those layers. If you would like to visit Crawford Lake, it's open to the public every day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Laverne McGee, CHCH News.